Even while a crisis in the Ukraine pushes stock prices lower, a few Barron's picks are moving higher. I'm Jack Otter, editor of Barron's.com. I'm here with Jack Howe, who writes for the magazine and writes some great stock picks. But today, for the first time in weeks, we're not going to be talking about your stories. I did absolutely nothing last week. Just okay. Staycation, sat around and ticked no things golf? off my to-do list. No golf. Okay. A little, little nippy here in New York. Well, with the drums of war beating, let's start with flowers. Right. Uh, FTD florist is uh, moving higher today, moving higher nicely. And I learned something, I learned a lot in that article, but among other things, I never knew what FTD stood for. Florist Telegraph Delivery. You Which, no longer need a telegraph to order. The right, flowers. but it shows you it's an old company. It's a recent spin off. The stock has little to no coverage yet on, on Wall Street. Um, and it's, a, it's a, a pretty cheap business. Um, this is a company where the, I think the stock is in the low $30 range, 32 ish thereabouts, and, and it's earning just over $2 a share now. Could be $3 a share in a couple of years' time. There's some charges on the books, some amortization charges that are sort of masking the earnings power of the company. So. So uh, our writer argues that the stock is cheaper than it ought to be, right? And it's up about 2.5% yeah. uh, on that move. Also, uh, spin-offs, I always kind of like spin-offs. You know, they, they, they take a discrete company that its benefits might be hidden within a larger conglomerate, put it out there, and the managers are obviously uh, highly motivated to make it work. Certainly the healthiest part of the business. It's got a lot of cash flow going for it, so th there's a lot to like. Uh, let's move on to undersea drilling. Uh, this is a category that hasn't been doing very well, but Avi Saltzman says there's a company that uh, is worth investing in. Atwood Oceanics, he argues that the, uh, the factors that have been impacting these companies don't as apply as much to this company. It has some newer rigs that charge higher rates. The, 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 uh, the, the issue that's out there is that investors worried that the day rates for some of these rigs are, are, are moving lower. Um, but a Transocean and some other companies have gotten hammered, have an ugly 2014. Yeah, um, Atwood is down uh, con considerably, but it has some contracts locked in for the next couple of years. It has newer rigs, so the earnings power simply looks stronger. Looks like a company that's sold off with a struggling group right now that's maybe stronger than investors are giving it credit for. That stock, too, is up about 2.5% when I checked. And finally, uh, we'll talk about Barnes & Noble. Andrew Barry yes. has been a fan of this company, even though Loves the most, Barnes Noble. Yeah, most people think you know they're getting up for dead. Barnes & Noble, he's liked it since 14. I think it's around $20 now. And he says, hey, you know, look at the valuation. It's a, stock, it's a company that's three times EBITDA. And most of the other retail chains are, are over seven times EBITDA, so it's cheap. It has a lot of cash, and there's still you know, a lot of good things you can do with this business, and it could be you know, a potential takeover candidate down the road. People still buy books. Uh, not everyone buys them online. I do buy them. I don't read as many as I buy, but I do buy them. Thanks very much, Jack. Thanks, Jack.